All right, nine man quarterfinals here. Let's, a uh, good four, five matchup is the Southland Rebels hosted the Houston Hurricanes. Canes add to their 22 18 halftime lead. Quarterback Mickel Shuddy, he's going to deep and drops it in the bucket to Cade Roth. Pretty pitching catch by Houston. 30 to 18 late third quarter. In the fourth quarter, the Canes strike again through the air. This time Shuddy slings it to Alex Van Gundy. Boy, he placed that right in the bucket in the middle as Houston would take a 38-18 lead and they are into the next round on Saturday. This is a pretty good football team, Houston. 46-18 is the final and they'll get a crack at the top seeded Leroy Ostrander Cardinals. Leroy Ostrander also ranked number two in state. District champs unbeaten 38-22. The cards over Mabel Canton tonight. All right, the Grand Meadows Superlarks are the two seed in the nine man playoffs. Larks hosting seventh seeded Kingsland. Grand Meadow didn't leave any doubt early. Dusty Copley, Copley takes the pitch and cruises into the end zone for a three yard, from the three yard line for a seven nothing lead. Copley doing a lot of damage on the ground. This is in the first quarter. He takes the pitch and takes it in or gets good yardage. He's eventually pushed out at the four yard line. Nolan Skifter cleans it up untouched like from two inches out as the Superlarks, uh, they took a 14-0 lead with three minutes to play in the first quarter. They would strike through the air. Here, the crafty lefty, Evan Olke, finds the wide open D'Angelo Vigado uh, for another touchdown as the Superlarks. They are in the semifinals, and we have one of those classic matchups, two versus three. Grand Meadow, 42-0 over the Kingsland Knights. Spring Grove got a battle from the Burroughs, 21-12. So Spring Grove is headed to Grand Meadow for the section semifinals coming up Saturday night. And Lyle Pacelli was on the road in the section three nine-man quarterfinals and second seeded Hills Beaver Creek, 72 to 30 is the final. Now it's time to bring in sports extras Holden Cruzmark. The road tour didn't go too far from town. Holden joins us with action from the section one double A quarterfinals. How you doing Holden? Oh, doing pretty good, Mark. And guys, we all know the section runs through for the four-time defending state champs from Caledonia, who won by forfeit tonight. And I'm sure some of the staff was in St. Charles. It was just a little bit of deja vu for the road tour, trekking from Chatfield to St. Charles for the second time this month. And we'll start with a 4-5 matchup. St. Charles hosting Triton. The Saints saved the fireworks for the second half. It was a 10-0 Cobra lead in the third when St. Charles finally hits their stride. And it started with Drew Maloney recovering a fumble and then Maloney ending up in the end zone on the QB sneak. It's now 10-7 and Triton would end up fumbling again which sets up this. Noah Disbro hits the edge and he turns on the burners. He gets into the end zone and the Saints now lead things 14-10. St. Charles would get the ball back again and again they would turn to Disbro. A huge second half for the running back. He puts his team up 21-10 but Triton would respond. They pitch it out to Parker Bow, who shimmies his way through the defense into the end zone and things are real interesting now because the Cobras would get the ball back with a minute 30 left on the clock but the Saints defense comes Ooh. up clutch in the end. Chase Walters with the interception as he calls ball game. St. Charles rallies to take the lead and survives the Triton comeback attempt. They win 21 to 16 and will travel to Caledonia on Saturday to take on the Warriors. Down in Chatfield, Gophers hosting Kenya Wanamingo in the 3-6 matchup. And Chatfield was here to play today. Sam Backer has been huge all season, and the freshman kept it up tonight. That's a touchdown. Then the Chatfield defense decided to make its presence known. Corey Erickson picks off Luke Berg, and he has eyes on the end zone. Erickson goes untouched for the score. And the Gophers quickly lead 14-0. Thanks to this crazy two point conversion, Reed oh. Johnson in a pickle, but he reverses course and finds a wide open Sam Backer for the two. Later, Chatfield with the ball again, and why not just keep feeding the youngster? Back, backer hits the edge, stays inbounds, and gets all the way down inside the five yard line. He was tough to contain tonight, frustrating the Knights' defense. Then Johnson would finish the drive off as he keeps it himself and picks up another Chatfield touchdown as the Gophers roll 40 to 14 over Kenyon Wanamir. Mingo and Lewis and Altura keeps on avoiding. They take down Dover Yoda 43 to 22, meaning they'll get to face Chatfield at home on Saturday as they look to stay undefeated and advance to the section championship. Thank you, Holden. Super Smash tonight's honor goes out to Byron senior Ooh. Ben Steenison for that spinal crunching hit on Red Wings' Caleb Ho. Taking another look, Steenison reading the play. 
Like the Sunday paper, he's being recruited by a number of Division II programs, including Minnesota Duluth. Though. So thank you to Mr. Ben Steenison for the Super Smash from the first round of the playoffs. Patty plays a little bit of attitude. Maybe we'll see him in the NSIC here in the coming years. And the Bears have Cass and Manorville on yeah, Saturday on the turf. Yeah, big rivalry matchup. Boy. <laughs> hey, we're going to have our play of the week. It's coming up next.